This episode of Scam School brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Welcome to the show that's been wielding uncontrollable power since 1973. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and after months of rumor and innuendo and internet forum board pleading, we have finally found somebody so brave, so daring, so idiotic that he's actually going to let us teach him the human blockhead. I gotta tell you, man, Thanks I had a freaking blast bar. on the on the dig reel. That was awesome. It was wonderful having you. Tell me I a little bit. Really about lonely. Tell me about the show. Because <laughs> it is. It's you in like cyberspace talking, delivering the steering it is, snark. Yeah, it's kind of like if the X Men went into the uh, God, what's that room called? The danger room. I'm sorry. Come on. Wow. Sorry, nerds. I apologize. Uh, yeah, it just went out. But at least I was wow. thinking about it. It's like when Captain Kirk pulls out his laser sword yeah. and is all trying to hit right, Darth Vader. And Decepticons and shit. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. You are in a very uh, unique position because people have asked for months, for months and months and months, how I did the the, uh, the, the, the human blockhead effect at the New York Dignation show. Did you yes. happen to catch it? I did catch it. It was fantastic. I'm uh, curious myself. <laughs> yes. All right, so uh, again, for those of you who missed it, the effect involves, in this case, we only we were only able to find four-inch nails. Are you slurping on a... I'm just trying to get rid of the fruit in my beer. <laughs> By eating it. That's a hell of a technique. Vitamin C. You start off with a uh, with a uh, four and a half inch nail. This is only four inches long, but you actually you line it up there Jesus. in the uh, in the nasal cavity here, and uh, it's actually going to go inside the maxillary sinus, and we're going to get some good sound effects here too. Do we have a doctor in the? This. Oh. Whoa. And now I like that the little bit real. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a very convincing nice. illusion. Here, in fact, you go ahead and you you grab the, the grab the tip. And then, what would happen if I gave it one last little push? We would not be friends anymore. That's what would happen. Okay, well, All I'm right. not going to do that. Okay, good. Here we go. Pull it out. Right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's oh. really you, slick. Like, you can feel it, right? You can feel it's it. It's slimy. And that's, uh, well, yes, that's uh, that's how that works. Sell that on eBay. That's, <laughs> that's authentic brushwood DNA, my friends. Wow. You don't get that else anywhere. So here's the thing. People say, well, what the heck is that? That's not really a bar trick. But the truth is, I actually bust that out at bars quite a bit. They don't, uh, why they don't, not? Well, they don't have nails. If I nails. could do that, I would not stop doing it. <laughs> well, you're about to learn. Now, uh, most places don't have nails, but they will have, like, uh, cocktail drink stirs type Sharper things. plastic things that can yeah. break off in your time. Exactly. Right. What could possibly go wrong? And then those those actually... Beer? Say, well, the beer, I don't know. It's, I guess it... Uh, and you can save them. There's a lot of blood vessels in there. You're probably going to get drunk or something. There you go. And it goes all the way in. And you can still get somebody to grab it all the way out. What was your childhood like? Oh, man. Believe it or not, I actually figured this out when I was in third grade. I didn't know it was a trick. I just was rooting around with a Q-tip, and it actually slipped inside that, that nasal cavity. So here's what I want you to do. Your nasal cavity, it's not just a hole, right? It's like, it's, 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 you've got a flap of skin over it. And what you want to do is you want to go under that flap of skin in between, right? So, so, so here, hold, hold your arm out. So then, then there's this, and then this is the flap of skin, and you want to go whoop, like that, right? Is the idea? So, now here's what you're going to do. You're gonna start, and you're gonna drag. Remember, you wanna you wanna drag it across that bottom layer. I so, do. So it goes in like a lot of shit in my nose. Like up, and then you'll feel it go in and back. Which is there a, an, a nostril that's better? You always go left. I'm gonna go. Left. I go left because it's it's yeah. There, there you, and you're gonna push it, and you want you want to think of it as dragging it along this the bottom of your. Really it. weird. Yeah. There you go. Keep going. Uh, you. I can tell you're you're almost there. It's kind of stopping and it hurts a lot. All right, here. You know what? It's still going. Is it going? It hurts a lot. Okay, all right, here. Look, I'm going to actually do it to you. All right, all right, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... to... Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, go slow. Go slow. There it is. There it is. 
It feels weird, but it doesn't hurt as much. There it is! The human freaking rockhead! Am I more sexually attracted yet? <laughs> Am I, am I more accepted by my peer group? I'm terrified. I know. No, you can look here. Look around. It's, it's just in there. And you can, uh, yeah, you just, you know, it's like, it's, it's no big deal. It's like, hey, it feels okay now. we're just two dudes with Q-tips in there. Whatever, guys. You want to join our gang? There's <laughs> <laughs> one thing you got to do first. <laughs> Ten guesses. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to have to leave. I'm, I right. can't take it out without you. I have, you right. have the magic right, you, you, you want me to take it out? All right, here we go. There's going to be some weird on the end of this. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's, that's all you. You can breathe much easier. Somebody farted. <laughs> I can smell better. This guy. All right. If you want to try with an actual, this guy's pokey at the end, though. I don't know. You want to try with a nail? You've got the principle. If You'll be epic. Does it matter if I say no? No, it doesn't. You're going to try it at least. We're going to see what happens. Here we go. Four and a half inch nail. After five minutes of practice, he's going straight to the real work. This is way wider. Well, yes, it is. It is Do way you wider. Move this up. To yeah, you can't be like I don't actually. I like it rough. All and, right. Now I need to move it. And then that's. And then. <laughs> All right. Righty it is. <laughs> it's burn, it's to gonna burn now, but really? that's alright. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> but it's hurting me. It's not the same. terrible. That's, that's <laughs> bad for you. Am I going in at a good angle here? Yeah, no, I don't know. How many times do I There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, f me. Yes! 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 Ow. Ow, I think it stopped. <laughs> how, how far in are you now? That's, you know what, that, that is, uh, that's pretty freaking far. It hurts here. Okay, well then that's good. That's as far as, as, as you can apparently take it. Ow! <laughs> here, you can, here, try this. This guy's super thin. I feel like I hit walls or it was getting tighter. Yeah, it, well, it's not a big opening. Has your, your nose widened after years of nose <laughs> Actually, it is. I'm not gonna lie. It's so crass so it's, far. It's, <laughs> wow. I had to move to increasingly thicker and more gigantic nip. But, however, I do breathe easier now. Do you really? Yeah, oh yeah, I used to have bad side. You don't get infections easier? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you're going at an up angle. You don't want to do that. There you go. Straight back. Yep. You got it. 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 it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think it's... It feels like it's hitting my brain. No, but that's it, though. You've got enough to impress. There you go. And then, and uh, 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 <laughs> Did you hear that? That was genuine amazement. Right up top, my friend. Well done. I feel Keep it real. This is more than I've learned in four years of college. <laughs> in one night of scam school. I really got to blow my nose right now. <laughs> I cannot thank Andrew enough for actually being insane enough to actually try that. Speaking of which, uh, all of these things are incredibly dangerous to try. None of you should ever do any of these ever. Everything you just saw was for intellectual purposes only. So let's move on to our contest to figure out the ultimate domain smash. You remember domain smacking, right? We explained it a couple of weeks ago. The idea is simple. Domains are so cheap now that you can register one just for spite. Register an insulting, diminutive URL and point it to a friend's website. Go ahead and register totalbitch.com and point it to your ex-girlfriend's MySpace. Let's check in and see who's got the first place on the leaderboard so far. Plus, we've got the perfect code to register your domain smack. Enter code SCAM3 when you check out, and the domain only costs $7.49, and they'll point it wherever you want for free. Don't forget, it's very important that you use those codes when you register your domain smack. Not only does this get you the discount, but it guarantees that we get the credit for the sale. And if we don't get the credit, we don't get any money. We don't get any money, you guys don't get any more scam schools.
So we do have enough time to do a little bit of Q&A. Let's talk some game theory from the forums. User Hayes has the following question. What's the best way to keep someone interested in playing after you win the first bet in Fast and Loose, Nim, etc.? It's a good question, Hayes, and the truth is, anytime you're dealing with a rigged game scenario, it's gonna depend a lot on the person that you're dealing with. What you want is somebody who's cocky, who thinks they're better than you, and wants the opportunity to stick it to you. Those are the people who idiotically are gonna try harder and harder to beat you. Don't play a rigged game with somebody who's nice or somebody who doesn't have it coming. Save it for the people who really are giving you a hard time. Speaking of which, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam or if you have any questions about the stuff you've seen so far, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. Next week, we're going to be doing something pretty special. We're actually going to be learning how to scam our way into the Olympics. It's going to be epic. Until then, I'm going to grab myself a drink. I'm just saying I'm as cool as Wolverine, right? Nick, you certainly are at least as hairy. Look at those arms. I got I got baby hair arms. See, look at that. I've got exactly one chest hair. You've got Wolverine claws coming out of your dome, man. Oh, yes, indeed. And we, you have a manly beer, and I have a lady beer. Look at this. I have a spilling beer. Where's my? That's all right. All right. So, anything else you want to say about the dig reel? Uh, new episodes come out on Wednesday. It's yes. a fun show. We'll have you back because that was a blast. Dude, I would love to come back. That was a lot of fun. I good. couldn't believe I got you to play the, the Devlin Rock Magic uh, video. That I went to that every week now. That's going to be actually half <laughs> the, the new show. theme song. 